Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for April 9th through the 15th. We are going to get one of these oracle cards and then we will reveal it at the end. Since that came a flying, we're going to go with that one. This is for the sign of Cancer. For the week ahead. April 9th through the 15th. What do we have for the sign of cancer? What does cancer need to know this week? Ooh. So, you know, I think that you guys have a lot of self-love. I think you've gone through some sort of renewal, some sort of rebirth. Here we have you maybe dealing with somebody who's not being honest with you. you there could be some um, lies or lack of communication. Okay, here we have... You know, there's, there's a lack of growth in some area of your life. This is growth, but in some area of your life, there's a lack of growth. There's a lack of passion, okay? You may be thinking about giving up on a situation, okay? You may be thinking about it. You may be not wanting to accept love, or there could be, or you may be wanting to accept love, but the other person isn't offering you the passion that you're looking for, okay? Uh oh, so there is there could be some arguments. There should be could be some conflicts in your love life. Okay, I feel like you guys have absolutely went through some sort of renewal. Okay, inner renewal. I think you're vibrating very highly, but I feel like there's definitely some dishonesty here. Now I don't think it's you. I think that you're. De I don't know. You know I don't. I feel like somebody is being dishonest in a relationship. Okay, there even could be a breakup because a two of cups reverse is there could be a breakup. Okay, and this is a lack of passion here. Yeah, something could be unrealistic. All right, and you may be seeing the light. You may be receiving this wake up call, this awakening, this epiphany. All right, this is the truth coming out. Okay, somebody has been being dishonest in a relationship and the truth is now coming out. Maybe somebody is rejecting your offer of love, or you're rejecting theirs. Hmm. Yeah, somebody may be moving on, deciding to move away from a situation, because there's no, there's no progress. We haven't made the progress that we thought we were going to make. The passion is dying. You know, um... There's a lack of victory. There's a lack of uh, respect as well. You may be dealing with somebody that doesn't see your worth, doesn't see your inner beauty. And, you know, you may be deciding to move away from this situation. This is moving on. The Six of Swords is moving on from something that is no longer realistic. There is no more growth. Yeah, it's like there's a feeling of unhappiness here, Cancer. You may be feeling unhappy about a situation because, you know, it feels like some kind of truth, some truth is coming out. And it could have to do with somebody letting their passion be go elsewhere. I mean, I don't know. Let's find out what the hell this is. Yeah. You're dealing with somebody who is emotionally unavailable. Okay, you are. This is somebody who is emotionally unavailable. Now, this could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, I just want to make sure this is zoomed in correctly. You're dealing with somebody who's not thinking about you. Put it that way, with this card reversed. This person is um treating you unfairly they may be abusive they may be only out to harm you you may be dealing with a bully okay and there's a lot of tension and there's a lot of power struggles here this week where it feels like you're playing games you're going back and forth with this as well 
I feel like you have a very beautiful soul and you're dealing with somebody who is really causing a lot of tension in your life at this time. You know, you're dealing with somebody who's judging you unfairly and they've treated you unfairly. Somebody has treated you unfairly and, you know, they've become emotionally detached, okay? And, or that could be you or it could be the person that you're dealing with. It feels like you may be wanting to resist this change, you know, because change sucks. But you are being called to let go. This is let go and struggle through it, okay? And see things from a different perspective. I think that you're in limbo right now. And it's time to let go of this worry. It's time to stop losing sleep over this person who lacks the emotional ability to be fair with you, okay? That you're not you're dealing with somebody who is not treating you the way that you should be treated. I feel as though you need to believe in yourself. You need to listen to your inner guide. Are you listening to your inner guide? Are you? Okay. I feel like you've been seeking guidance and you may have been getting the answers and you may have been ignoring what you're hearing because it's not what you want to hear. I feel like you really it's time for you to follow your own path and stop resisting this change even though it's going to be a struggle. I feel I mean there's definitely some power struggles here absolutely both of these cards, okay? And I think you're dealing with somebody who is manipulative. They may be verbally, mentally, even physically abusive. You may be dealing with somebody who is almost narcissistic. They are not emotionally available to you. They've been causing you to lose sleep and you are being called to let them go. And I'm sorry to give you this message. You know, but I think I see the loneliness. You don't want to be alone. You have this fear of growing old alone. You don't want to be alone, right? But it's a time for you to step back and really focus on what you deserve, what you want, what you're looking for, and focus on yourself. This is actually a blessing in disguise, and you don't see that, I understand. But I feel like whatever is happening is, um, it is a blessing, and I know that you have been suffering. You're suffering in some way. You know, because I feel like you've been lied to. You've, you've been dealing with somebody who brought a lot of confusion to your life. They probably promised you the world. You know what I mean? And you thought you were going to get the world from them. You thought that they were going to give you everything. But it appears that, you know, they... It was false. These are both false. Okay? And now it's time for you to make a clear decision. And you might need to take some time, a time out. You might need to really, really take as long as you need to focus on what you deserve, what you want, and come up with your future plan, your goals, your path. You could have, the, whoever you're dealing with, uh, there could have been a third party situation and you have to let it go. You can't keep carrying this around, can you? I mean, this is heavy. Very, very heavy to carry around something that is false, that you don't want to accept, that you don't want to hear. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who isn't going to compromise. They aren't going to cooperate, 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 and you need to find your inner strength to let go. That's the strength card is about letting go. It's about finding your inner power, finding your inner strength and the courage and the discipline to let go of something that is weighing very heavily on you because whoever you're dealing with is not working as a team. They're not working. They're not putting in effort. They're not. I think that there's no more growth here. Okay, you deserve more. You deserve more. And I feel like this week there could be some feuds that come up where somebody, you know, that you're dealing with, they may move out. You know, I don't know. There's definitely going to be some feuds going on between you and another person. Now, we, ha we have all the signs here, so it could be any sign. But you will be called to really dig deep to find your strength to make the right decision. Okay, you have a decision to make here. Can you carry this heavy weight around? Can you? Right, you can't be dishonest with yourself anymore. There could be a breakup on the horizon. Okay, there could be. There could somebody is being dishonest. They're not treating you fairly at all. We have unfair a couple times. You're not being treated fairly. Okay, and you have to be honest with yourself. Somebody's not being honest. Whether it's you or the other person, somebody doesn't want to hear the truth, they don't want to accept the truth, and they're not telling the truth. 
And somebody's not wanting to make a decision. Okay, decision needs to be made. But somebody's not wanting to make a decision. You're dealing with somebody who's only has a big ego, huge ego. Ego, 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 and they're only in it for financial reasons. Maybe maybe you provide a roof over their head or you're, prov you know, I don't know. Somebody is involved just for the financial aspect of the relationship. It's not love. It's not. There's a lack of passion here. And with the two of cups reversed, it's there could certainly be a breakup, okay? And this this is the end of an idea. This is the death of an idea. It's a dead end. So I feel, I don't know, this will not resonate with everybody, but I feel like it is, you have to struggle through something. It's, I see that with the hangman. This is a struggle to resist this change. To see things from a new perspective. To realize that when something ends, it's there's something new that begins. It's a blessing in disguise. I think that you guys are, are very compassionate. And you don't want to give up on somebody. But I feel like this person has given up on you. They have. I think they've already left emotionally. Whoever you're dealing with has already emotionally left the situation. And you may not want to hear this. You may not want to accept the truth. And you may be really hurt over this situation. Okay. I see there's a lot of disappointment here. And there's probably, a, you know, you're concentrating on this loss. Not see, knowing that everything happened. You know everything happens for a reason. Right. You're dealing with somebody who is emotionally detached. They're no longer emotionally available. And they may make you, you may be overwhelmed with the, you may be overwhelmed at this time because this is emotional. You are being called to take the next step and to build a, a foundation elsewhere. To move on. The time is now to take the next step and stop playing games. Follow your intuition. And stop being controlled. You're dealing with somebody, I believe, is like narcissistic, very controlling, very dominating. They're not telling you the truth. They're manipulating you. They are lying to you. They are, and your intuition knows this already. It's, it, but you, you're unable to move on. How come? You lack discipline. Unable to master your emotions at this time and get the hell out of there. There's a loss of direction here. Because you're letting this be you're letting yourself be in control. And you may be you're being manipulated, you're being controlled, you're being you may be driven this may be driven by lust. You can free yourself from this situation, but you have to take action. This is you. If you have to take action, cancer. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. It is time. You're not. You're not letting. You are not mastering your emotions. The, the chariot card is about mastering your emotions. It's reversed. You're letting this devil energy control you. The devil energy is addictions. It's obsessions. It's lust. It's control and manipulation. It's a false bond. It's karma. You're letting somebody control your future and you've reached a dead end dead end is here twice now you've reached a dead end I know you have this fear of change you have this fear of the unknown and you would like to just stay put because this fear of the unknown is so big and you this may be the safest option you might be like oh I already know this is safe it's not safe if this person is not in love with you if it's just sexual, this is just sexual. Are you dealing with somebody um, who is emotionally emotionally detached? And I can see that you're very disappointed. And you don't want to let go because it's safe. So I feel like this is a week of coming to grips with the truth. And releasing it and seeing the truth. That's what this is. Seeing the light, releasing it. 
and standing up for yourself. Are you ready? I wish you the best. I, I don't like to give these messages, but it's everyday life, and this will not resonate with everybody, but I can see that you are a beautiful soul, and you deserve so much more. You deserve somebody that is emotionally available to you. Oh my God. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. You deserve love, Cancer. Real love. I think you're dealing with somebody who is bitter. I wish you the best. Talk to you later.